Gumwa Centra is one of the 260 metropolitan, municipal and district assemblies in Ghana and forms part of the 22 MMDAs in the central region. Its capital is France. It was carved out of the then Gomwa district in 2008. It is located in the southeastern part of the central region. It also has a highly youthful population who are into farming and trading. In 2012, Rahel Apo of the National Democratic Congress won the elections to represent the people of the constituency in parliament. She beat off competition from her closest rival, Dr. Edward Nana Ketukuju of the New Patriotic Party with over 15,000 votes, while Dr. Kuju got over 11,000 votes. Rahel Apo lost to the New Patriotic Party's Nana Iya in the 2016 parliamentary elections. The 2020 parliamentary elections promises to be an interesting one since the incumbent MP Nana Iya, who is also the Deputy Minister for Lands and Natural Resources, is coming up against a former District Chief Executive for the area, Moses Jonamwa Jehu Apia of the National Democratic Congress. The National Democratic Party, NDP, is also presenting a grassroots candidate, Frank Otri Pinto. If you look at political experience, political credibility, in the area of performance, in the area of delivery, in the area of efficiency, in the area of effectiveness, none can be compared to you up here. So clearly, come 7 December, 5 o'clock, an hour later, 6 o'clock, I will be declared as a member of parliament, elected for Goma Central for the 2020 general elections. So let's see the results that will come on the 7th and see if I'm going to win or But I know that the little that I've done for Gumwa Central in this, I'm not up to four years. We are not. So it will be, our four years will be on 7th of January. So you let's see what is going to happen because I know that I've worked. So they are going to reward me of my hard work in Gumwa Central. The chance is there for me to to, I mean, to, 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 to take the seat because um, uh, we have one or two things affecting the, the populace, which we need to fix it uh, for them to have their way. If the two of you, I mean, you are, you are telling each other that you're not doing anything, I, don't, I think you have to give way to another person to come and try. Agriculture is the main occupation of the people in this constituency, and some farmers share their thoughts on their expectations for the next person who will lead the constituency. The uh, people who are in the country are in the country. They are in the country. They are in the <laughs> The NDC candidate, Moses Jehuapia, criticized the incumbent MP, Nana Iya, for not doing enough to change the fortunes of the people in the constituency. Your constituent will always want to see that their member of parliament is delivering. Delivering in the area. When I say parliamentary work, they should see you, I mean, responding positively in parliament, raising issues, contributing to issues over there. But the current MP, Practically none. A lot of development is needed in the area. Serious development in the area of uh, educational infrastructure, development in the area of education, uh, health infrastructure, development in the area of other social infrastructure, which of course NDC through Rahi and Anajo Apo then started. By then, my predecessor, Honorable King Lehunama, was in the seat on the seat as a DC. They started building classroom blocks, building chips compound, building health centers, 
providing uh, sanitation facilities, NDC left the scene in 2016, expecting that the current administration would have picked it up. And I tell you, if you look at their work rate, if you assess their work rate in four years, I don't know the kind of max, maybe a scale of one to 10, I'll give them about one and a half, which summed up to about 11%. You understand? So they have failed the constituent woefully. For the National Democratic Party's candidate, Frank Ochre Pintel, the introduction of mechanized farming for the larger farming population and some other policies to be introduced by him will win him the vote. Agriculture is the main, uh, the main occupation here, but it is not being done well. We are going to introduce agriculture mechanized center where we have the machinery. So if you want a, some, some machines to work, you just go pick it out there, you, you go and use it for your, your farming and you come. Here farming is almost 90% cutlass and whole farming. The incumbent MP Nana Eyia, however, is confident of retaining the seat. She highlighted some of her achievements. I've done a lot. We came to Met 6 school feeding in Gumwa. That time it was Gumwa East. And we have added 17 to it to be 23. In the Kumkumwe, where I'm sitting, we have built them two school blocks, six classroom blog. We have done some in Ugwaku, which is ongoing. We have done some in uh, Pomazi, Asebu. We, are, we have done some in my hometown, Gumwa Lume. We have done some in uh, Gumwe Skuma. We have done some in Kwame Adjir. This is cheap compounds. We have done some market sheets for them. Those artisan people, when they finish their learning, I give them machine, these dryers. All my feeder goods are being given to contractors. We are building a court, circuit court in Goma Central, and uh, one million per constituency. We have a polyclinic in Goma Abonyi with a doctor's bungalow, and our women have brought in some loans for them. So if you compare my four years to the eight years of NDC, I think I've done a lot. I've done that what at their eight years they couldn't do. For party supporters of the two main political parties, the MPP and the NDC, their preferred candidate will emerge victorious on December 7. Um, 2016, we made a mistake, which we believe that we've been able to correct that mistake since we came into a position. And we are going to take our seat back. We actually, um, to a large extent, lent or loaned out the seats to the MPP in our constituency. Administratively, we have 15 electoral areas. And out of these 15 electoral areas, there are a lot of communities that vote for NDC in terms of numbers. But in 2016, we made a mistake, which we believe that we've been able to sort it out with our members. And everybody is on board, and we are going to ensure that we give the new Petrodu party the beating of their lives come Monday, December 7th. So looking at what is pertaining in our constituency, we are sure of victory because Kufuado and Naneya has done a shoddy job in this constituency. Looking at how the constituency has been run over the past four years, lack of developmental projects across the towns in this constituency, and looking at the message that we are coming with, it will help the people to vote for us and definitely we are winning this election. Our chances are very bright and we know 7 December people are going to vote for Honorable Naneya without any fear. And we are in election year so they can say any, many things. But uh, depending on what we have done in the constituency, people know if you go to the various community, we have more than 40 communities in the constituency. And, uh, People in the, in the various community, the chiefs, the queen mothers, the pastors, the people in the constituency know we have done much for them. So they are going to give us another 40. Gumwa Central, we are taking about 70% of the popular vote. That one I can assure you. Nane Yeah has done so well in terms of supporting a special girl child <laughs> so much. As we speak, we have, uh, she has distributed over 1,000 air dryers and then uh, what sewing machines. People that she has you know, personally funded them to learn this trade, they are over 500. 
the people are just, just um, I mean, politics, politics for you, you have to say something just for you to have some confidence that you're also in the race. But I tell you, Goma Central, MPP is taking the popular vote, not less than 70% of the popular vote. We stand a great chance. Uh, looking at where we came from as a district and the work that has been done so far uh, by the MP, you know, DC, and the team collaboration work from the uh, party executives uh, is a great work. So I think they are, they are winning. Looking at what is on the ground, the, the party is winning, hands down. City News, Goma Central Constituency.